everyone today i am here with a new video which is a bit difficult topic because whenever i study this topic from any book i feel it's really described in a bit complicated way so i have made a video which is a very brief video and you will be going to learn from it so easily and it will help you to review this topic just before your exams in just a few minutes so coming to the topic today we'll be talking about direct and indirect pathway in the basal ganglia so there are the differences between the direct pathway and indirect pathway of course the direct pathway is the excitatory pathway and the indirect pathway is the inhibitory pathway and we can remember it by the indirect is the inhibitory pathway another thing is the receptors Direct pathway has D1 receptors of the dopamine and the indirect pathway has the D2 receptors for the dopamine. Now starting with the direct pathway, it will be involving the four structures. Starting with the substantia nigra, it will secrete dopamine which will act on the D1 receptor. Now this dopamine will make the striatum to release GABA. This GABA will act on globus pallidus internum. Now this globus pallidus interna is inhibited. And why? Because GABA is an inhibitory neurotransmitter. This GABA will inhibit the globus pallidus interna. Now this globus pallidus interna is inhibited. Now there will be no release of GABA and there will be no one to inhibit the thalamus. So there will be no inhibition of thalamus and the thalamus will be sending the impulses. That means thalamus is excited or thalamus is working because no one inhibited the thalamus okay now coming to the indirect pathway there will be two structures that are not involved in the direct pathway let's get to know what are those structures substantia nigra it will be uh, getting the impulses from the cortex and these impulses will tell the substantia nigra to secrete dopamine now dopamine will act on the D2 receptor and striatum releases the GABA. Now this GABA will not act on the globus pallidus interna like the direct pathway but it will act on the globus pallidus externa and this globus pallidus externa will be inhibited. Why? Because the GABA acted on globus pallidus externa. Now this globus pallidus externa will not secrete the GABA and there will be no one to inhibit subthalamic nuclei. So there will be disinhibition of subthalamic nuclei. Now this subthalamic nuclei stimulate the globus pallidus internum. This globus pallidus internum was inhibited in direct pathway. So there will be no release of GABA and there will be uh, there was no release of GABA and there was no one to inhibit thalamus. But here is stimulated so there is the release of GABA and there is the inhibition of thalamus so thalamus won't be interfering with the cortex or won't be sending pulses to the cortex so there are the two these two structures that are not present in the direct pathway globus pallidus externa and the subthalamic nuclei I hope you, this will uh, help you to understand this topic more easily and uh, if you really understand this topic and if you really, really like this video then please subscribe this channel thank you